Hi, Gusuyo, Chugana Vira. One Teiko Yonaha Torsi to Imas. Nago de Umarete, Nagunchu des, Uchinano Nagunchu des, Eto Bob San, Rob San to, Ochai San Hoof to Ishoni, Coco de Goryu Shimashita. Ashtawa Hawaii no. Uh, no, no, Hawaii. You came from Hawaii. <laughs> we're from <laughs> New York, yeah. We, but anyway, uh, we, ex we just uh, checked each other's speech right now, so I don't know. <laughs> I had to just do my best. Okay. Hi, Sai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters. Rob Kajuar here. I made it to Washington, D.C. Finally. It took almost a full day <laughs> to get here. Um, and I've met up with some other Uchinanchi and Uchinanchi supporters here. Some of them came down from New York, and but some of them live here. Anyway, <laughs> got a lot of news actually today. Um, where should I start? Okay, first of all, today's day 29 since the petition opened, but I've been notified that the petition is actually going to stay open. Um, I don't really know how long, but at least until after we get a response from the White House. So it's it's not closing tomorrow. It's not closing tomorrow. Um, I don't know why we thought that or why I thought that, but I don't know. Maybe it's miscommunication or something, but apparently it's not going to close tomorrow. So it's going to stay open. So please continue to get people to sign. We need as many signatures as possible. Uh, we're still going to do the press conference and the rally in front of the White House tomorrow. It, it'll be day 30. It'll be 30 days since the petition opened. And um, remember that we hit the 100,000 signature mark on day 10. And that guarantees us a response from the White House. They still haven't responded. They're guaranteed to response within 60 days. I guess within 60 days of us hitting the 100,000 signature mark. So it's already been 20 days. So time is ticking. But uh, I did right to President Trump as well as to many other people in Washington to notify them about our petition and just you know say hey we're we're here waiting for your response we are eagerly waiting for your response um, and I have received confirmation that my letter to President Trump has arrived at the White House it actually arrived yesterday so we're waiting for a response. Uh, um, what else? What else we got going on? Okay, day 29, we are at 185,000. Noticeable increase, uh, 6,000 increase since, um, since yesterday. And that was largely due to Dr. Brian May of the rock band Queen, who supported our tweet, our petition. Thank you so much to Dr. Brian May. Uh, just uh, I was really really happy to see that and I think a lot of a lot of you guys were too so yeah a uh, big increase since yesterday that's the biggest increase we, we've had in a while since since Abe Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's uh, henchmen have been censoring us on on online they've been censoring us very heavily but uh, thank you to Dr. Brian May for helping us out we really appreciate it um, Let's see what else we got going on. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, January 7th, 30 days uh, since the petition opened, we're going to have a press conference and rally in front of the White House. Please pray for us. Hope it goes well. Um, you guys probably know that the last couple of days I've been feeling pretty, pretty down, Feel, feeling pretty uh, not good about this whole, this whole petition and trying to save Hinoko because... I don't know. A lot, a lot of things seem to have not been going well, and um, I was pretty concerned. I'm feeling a lot better right now, though, since I arrived in D.C. Um, meeting up with these other Uchinanchi and Uchinanchi supporters have, has been really good. Of course, you know, Dr. Brian May's tweet was great. The fact that the petition, we found out the petition is going to stay open is huge news. That's great news for us. It's great news for us. Um, that means we can get more signatures. You know, I think things are looking up. Um, I just hope tomorrow goes well. Uh, after the rally, 
we, we plan on, on going to, well, one, I would like to stop by the Okinawa Prefecture DC office, just, you know, just to stop by since we're here. And, but we are going to have a representative from the Okinawa Prefecture DC office at the, uh, the press conference. But then also we would like to go to Capitol Hill and try to meet with some people in Congress. I mean, I'm not expecting too much to come out of that because they're very busy people. It usually takes weeks, if not longer, to get an appointment with them. But hey, you never know. Well, at the very least, we'll drop off some flyers and stuff. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Okay, I wanted to address something. The video I made a couple days ago talking about uh, strategy and Okinawa, how we, as Okinawans, we need to do uh, better strategies, right? Okay, uh, so there were, I think some, I think there were some people who kind of misunderstood what I was saying. There were some people, I think primarily the people who were associated with the, the live stream, the people who hel were helping set up and run the live stream that we had at Henoko on January 5th. Um, I think January 5th, Okinawa time. Uh, so I think maybe some 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 of them were hurt or maybe offended by what I said. <laughs> and uh, so first of all, let me apologize. Okay, I did not want to hurt uh, or criticize or offend anyone. Okay, um, my friend Shinako Oyokawa nicely asked me if I you know could maybe take that video down or just address this issue. I did take it down. You know. She, out of respect for her, I thought, and she asked very nicely, and you know, and we t were talking about it, and we, I think we both realized it. We had a miscommunication, a misunderstanding on both sides, on my side in Hawaii, and then on their side in Hinoko, and in Okinawa. You know, the people who were helping set up that live stream, we, I, I it, it seems like we had kind of, a, kind of a miscommunication, and. Uh, I was under the impression I was under one impression and they were under under a different impression and uh, so we both kind of misunderstood each other and um, okay the reason why I was upset about that was because I had been promoting I had been hyping up this this live stream for Hinoko I've been I had been doing it for like two weeks in advance I was really hyping it up promoting it to everyone but especially towards certain people i was especially promoting it to the media including the u.s media i was promoting it to um um the, to the un some people with connections at the un and i was promoting it to um some other human rights groups and organizations so the the fact that I was promoting this heavily and then it suddenly was different, was, was quite different from what I was expecting, uh, really caught me off guard and it really made me worry because I thought, oh no, all these people now that I was telling to watch this live stream, that I was promoting the live stream to, all these people now are not going to trust me anymore because it's, it's very different from what I was describing it as. So... And these are important people, you know, the media, especially the American media, the UN and human rights organizations. These are important people that we we want to help Okinawa. We want to get them to help Okinawa. And so I was very concerned. I was really worried. But um, um, I think it I think it worked out OK. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback, actually, about the live stream uh, on January 5th, Okinawa time. So I think it worked out fine, uh, thankfully. Um, it could have been a lot worse. I, th yeah, I, I think it's fine. I don't think anyone is going to, you know, make a big deal about, you know, the differences and how I described it versus what actually happened. So um, I don't think there's anything to worry about. And, um, you know, in the future, we'll just try to uh, uh, communicate better, you know, on both sides and uh, with each other. So so we can so we can, you know, 
make it look like a more united front, you know, from my end to to Okinawa and and vice versa. So yeah. Um, anyway, again, I'm really sorry to anyone, uh, you know, if you were hurt or offended by some of the things I said afterwards. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm. I really appreciate the work that you do. It means a lot. It means a lot to me. I think it means a lot to all Okinawan supporters. Okay, uh, we we really appreciate you guys. So thank you for your good work. Anyway, I think I think that's all I have for now. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for the big uh, press conference in front of the White House. <laughs>